you're a blue collar investor who's looking to get started in the real estate game but you are priced out of your hometown i want you to watch this video this is your show this is the show where i work for you directly taking your needs i'm going through the mls and i'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys put down 25 percent that's the perfect way to buy this that's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world Hey everyone, welcome to Holton Wise TV. You're watching the MLS Search and Analysis Show, and I'm your host, James Wise. This is the show where I work with people just like you, right? I'm working with my man, Lewis. Lewis, a blue-collar guy out of California, okay? And Lewis, you came to me because we're helping another blue-collar guy. His name, name is Elvis. He's buddies with you, and we're working with him, building up a portfolio, right? You guys are just a couple of blue-collar cats, man. And your situation, Lewis is you want to get started in a real estate game, but you live in California, and the pricing is insane in California, right? It's completely ridiculous. So you guys, look to these other markets in the United States. There's a lot of cheaper markets. The one we uh, are working out of is Cleveland, Ohio, okay? Very, very cheap properties, right? And what you can get is solid blue-collar investments like this one, 744 McKinley Ave. Nice B-grade suburb called Bedford. It's been on the market for 10 days, listed at 72 k Now, they have a tenant in there, and as far as the photos that the listing agent put up, uh, you could tell like what happened is they took like old photos uh, from like a previous MLS listing and like copied them. So these photos, you know, they might not be that accurate, right? Like we got a tenant living in there. I don't exactly know when these photos were taken. Obviously, before some tenant was in there, but I don't know if this is what the house currently looks like. We'll have to. This is supposed to be the kitchen. That's like <laughs> needs to be rotated. This is the uh, this is the countertop and this is the stove uh but uh yeah so we're gonna of course uh do a third party home inspection on this one if we get to that point and we'll know exactly the condition but you shouldn't focus too much on the interior condition because of course it's going to be different uh when that tenant moves out when of course when your tenants move out guys you're going to always have to do some type of interior renovation uh but what we have here lewis we have a, a very high paying tenant right we are bringing in 1100 a month thirteen thousand two hundred dollars a year right now here's the chart that shows you the estimated breakdowns right 13,200 is scheduled to come in. I anticipate you're going to spend approximately seven grand operating this, leaving you with approximately $6,200 at the end of the day. Now, a couple of things I want to bring your attention to, right? As far as uh, the line item that you see, water sewer, 75 a month or 900 a year. Now, here's the situation. The tenant is actually not paying uh, $1,100 a month. They don't have a lease that says $1,100 a month. They have a lease that says ten twenty-five with their current landlord, and then the tenant pays their own uh, gas, electric, water, sewer, right? That's all well and good, but here's the deal. Hey lenders, are you looking for more clients? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. Water sewer, very different in the Cleveland market than a lot of other markets. The way the uh, landlord-tenant laws are written here, uh, in conjunction uh, with the way the Cleveland uh, Division of Water uh, operates their company, you can't actually effectively pass the water bill to your tenant. It remains in your name, and if uh, the water bill doesn't get paid, it gets added onto your property as a tax lien. I have more information on this on the fact on HoltonWise.com, so I want you to go there. So what we do as a company, uh, we do not allow the tenants to pay the water sewer bill separately. We just bake that into their rent. So we would take that 1025 tenant who's uh, responsible for their water sewer bill. We would give them a new lease that says 1100 and then we would make you pay the water sewer bill. Again, the information on that is going to be in the fact, right? You get these mom-and-pop landlords that don't understand why they can't actually do that, and they screw themselves. But don't worry, that's what we're here for. We take care of that kind of stuff for you. In addition, I want your eyes to go to the CapEx, vacancy, and repairs and maintenance sections, right? I am calculating 660 of estimates every single year on those, right? So that's all money that can be placed on top of your NOI, right? You're not necessarily spending that every year, but I'm having you save for that, right? Because you take this particular property, furnace, hot water tank, uh, roof, all of which are older, okay? They're all older, Lewis. You're not getting a property with brand new furnace, hot water tanks, uh, furnace, hot water tank, and roof. You're not getting a new one here, right? So you need to understand in the coming years, you're going to have to replace all those items. Hot water tank, that's 1000 they last every 15 years or so. I bet you're going to have to do that in the next few years. Furnace, they cost three Gs, last about 30 years. Probably going to have to do that in the next decade. Roof, 
They cost eh, a property like this. This is probably a $5,000 roof. Got to do those every 30 years. None of these items are brand new, okay? So you have to factor all those in, right? So I'm having you not consider that money part of your NOI right now because I know you're going to have to give it back to replace those items. So with all that stuff said, though, $6,197 is the estimate NOI on this bad boy. They have it listed at seventy-two dollars I think that's a fair price. Let's try to get a little discount. Let's try to pick it up for you at $70,000. You do that, you put down seventeen dollars half the bank loans you 52 and a half that would pencil this thing out to an 8.9 cap or a 20.3 percent cash on cash return very solid deal now, of course, you're a California investor. It's going to be very hard for you to manage this property. That's where Holton Wise comes in. We will handle all your property management. We will handle all your maintenance, your construction, everything and anything. We even got the insurance and title, right? So that's how investors like you are able to live in places like California where it's very expensive. You can come here to places like Cleveland and my team will handle the whole thing for you. But, of course, it starts here on this show with the education. So, Lewis, let me know. Reply to the private email what you want to do with this property. Everybody else, if you want to work with me like Lewis is, send my team an email, sales at HoltonWise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll walk you through the process of ordering a set of videos like Lewis has. Because if you're not Lewis, you can't buy this property. I sent this to Lewis privately, and me and him worked out the deal. I only released it to Holton Wise TV after the fact so you guys could all learn, which brings me to my next point, Lewis. I am here to help you and to guide you, but it's your money. It's your portfolio. I know you got like $90,000 in cash to work with, and uh, you want to look at some tenant-occupied stuff. So I showed you this one, but I want to give you more options. So I'm going to film two more videos for you, and we're going to get into that first one right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.